Yeah, so h hello, uh, my name's Kieran Manain. I am a graduate environmental hydrologist with Mont McDonald. Um, I'm based in their Cambridge office. Um, so that's where I've been living for about two years now. Um, and my association with SIWEM um, includes being both a non-chartered member, um, which I recently um, became from a graduate member, um, and also being a member of the Early Careers Network Steering Group. So the qualifications that I have include um, both a Bachelor of Science in Geography and also a Master of Science in Environmental Monitoring, Modelling and Reconstruction. Um, both of these I got from the University of Manchester. Um, and I think those are the two most important qualifications I have, but uh, so far anyway. Yeah, so in terms of my job role, um, after I completed my master's degree, um, I joined Mott McDonald as a graduate environmental hydrologist um, and I've stayed here for around two years and they've they've been really great, um, had loads of opportunities um, and a real mix of, of projects so I've really enjoyed it. Um, being part of this company has, has facilitated a lot of opportunities so these range from being um, taking up an internal role as a global practice ECP um, or early career professional um, but also sort of facilitating external opportunities so for example becoming a guest editor of SIWEM's The Environment magazine. So yeah, overall, I'm really pleased with with how my career with Mots is progressing and I'm, I'm looking forward to many more years with them. Uh, the skills I, I require generally uh, day to day for, for my role um, tends to involve a lot of data processing and, and modeling skills, um, particularly around sort of water and environmental aspects. Um, but then there's also a lot of uh, writing reports, collaborating with team members in internal meetings. In terms of the uh, sort of stuff that happens less often um, or less sort of day to day, um, there's plenty of opportunities to present work um, externally, whether this be in client meetings or whether this be at, at conferences or industry events. Um, and then obviously you've got the kind of regular communication with clients as well, you know, making sure that the project work that we're doing aligns with, with their sort of goals. Uh, many of my close colleagues that I work with also go out on site, um, which is something that I'm really keen to start doing as well. And these activities can range from um, supervising engineering work or from an ecology point of view, undertaking things like bat surveys. Um, so there are a lot of general, but also a lot of very specific skills um, that the job requires. In terms of opportunities uh, to learn new skills, um, within Mott McDonald, there are a lot of excellent opportunities for this. Um, so uh, MOTS are very good at organizing and delivering structured internal training, something which I've also been involved with the coordination of, um, but also sending staff on external training courses. So recently I, I've been attending the Cranfield University Nature Based Solutions short course, um, which I've been very lucky to attend. And that's been that's been really useful for supporting a lot of the work that I do on Nature Based Solutions um, in my job. Uh, there are also a lot of opportunities to learn on the job, you know, through uh, through mentoring, for example. Um, so a lot of the modeling software packages that I've learned how to use and a lot of the specific kind of technical skills have been through um, mentoring from, uh, you know, other senior members of the team. Uh, and we also have a graduate scheme. So this revolves a lot more around soft skills. Um, so presenting, um, building your network, communicate, communication skills. So yeah, there's there's quite a wide variety, but but definitely a lot of folks on both soft and and sort of more technical skills as well. So in terms of finding out opportunities uh, within the sector, and I promise I'm not just saying this because of this interview, um, but genuinely, I think being a student member of SIWEM while at university was a really great help. Um, this membership provided events that I could attend, um, which you know, contain useful material, which I actually found really helpful in, in job applications and also in interviews, you know, to kind of show that that interest in the sector and, and the issues that, that were being discussed. Um, another thing is that my university lecturers were also really helpful in pointing out kind of useful careers and, and things that, that related to some of the, the content that we were looking at um, while at university. Um, and then, you know, career talks, uh, that were undertaken by, you know, ECPs vis visiting from from various places. So, I mean, we received talks from um, a range of public and private sector um, individuals. But I mean, this that mechanism was actually how I, I heard about Mont McDonald in the first place. So that certainly for me was was one of the most beneficial um, ways.
Uh, yeah, I think there are loads of reasons why a career in the water and environment sector is exciting. I mean, firstly and, and foremost is that, you know, we're dealing with the most important issues facing the world, I would argue, um, climate and ecological breakdown, and also the impacts of, of these, you know, on, on wider society, um, which I think really shows how critical the work in this sector is. Um, but I think also uh, related to this is the fact that the sector is becoming increasingly important as, as time goes on. A and also, it's, I would like to think it's becoming more and more appreciated. So, I mean, just looking at the amount of investment that is, is, is planned for, you know, the water and environment sector and also the kind of resulting job security is another key thing. And, and I think particularly given the economic pressures facing the UK and elsewhere, I think this is a, this is a really important thing. And it means that you can have a longer term plan of, of, of a career in this sector as, as opposed to maybe some other more volatile, um, you know, sectors. Yeah, so in terms of the most exciting project I've worked on, um, this is slightly tricky. I wasn't quite sure which one to pick, but I think um, the one that I've kind of come to is is um, some of my work, which was helping coordinate and also deliver the design of a constructed treatment wetland, which is one of the first of its kind in England. Um, this project allowed me to basically channel my, my passion for nature-based solutions and also to, to take that and, and work towards a more a real tangible and positive um, environmental outcome, which is also, you know, really quite innovative and, and something which has not been done um, nearly on the scale which which it needs to in the future. Um, I mean, this project also allowed me to develop a lot of uh, skills, which which I had the opportunity to do, which including project management, uh, hydrological modeling and wetland process modeling. So I guess the variety of, of work on that project in, in actually a relatively small space of time was, was really interesting and, and definitely kept me on my toes. So yeah, really enjoyed that one. So for me, the, the best way that I found um, to sort of A, my professional development um, and personal development is kind of by throwing myself really headfirst in, into the work that I do, um, both internally and, and externally. So for example, um, some of the work I've been doing with SciWEM. So I think it's important for particularly for um, early careers professionals or, or young professionals to really not be afraid to voice their opinion and and to really be aware that they have the ability to make valuable contributions. And I think this is something which which people, especially young people, need to remind themselves often. And it's something I, I try and remind myself, you know, every day. And it, that really kind of drives the way the way in which I work. Um, and yeah, for me, this this is the best way for again young professionals to grow in their career or at least that's been my experience anyway um so i touched on this a little bit earlier with uh, around student membership but um in terms of how professional body membership has, has really helped me i'd say it's given me access to a, a real range of opportunities and events that i wouldn't have, have seen or or had access to otherwise um in terms of particular examples, I mean, I've, I've really enjoyed joining the uh, SIOM Early Careers Steering Group, which has allowed me to kind of contribute to the coordination of, of activities within the kind of early careers space um, of our institution. And then another example is um, being able to attend the Environmental Photographer of the Year Awards, which for me and I think the other attendees served as a really useful reminder, visual reminder, you know, of why we do the work that we do. And also, you know, it provided a great opportunity to kind of meet like minded individuals and and kind of kickstart conversations, which otherwise I wouldn't have had. So, yeah, just a few examples there. Yeah. So in terms of advice, I would give to someone wanting a career in, you know, the kind of broader water and environment sector. Um, I, I guess I'd have two piece of a, pieces of advice which are, are kind of related. The first is is around seizing your opportunities and really you know, being aware that there are so many roles, events, discussions that, that, you know, you can get involved with in our sector. And I think the number of these is only going to increase with, you know, with the the increase in work, the increase of, of, of focus on water and environmental issues. And I think as part of that, remembering that I think a lot of people will be surprised at how a little effort in, in kind of seeking these and, and, uh, you know, trying to uh, get involved with them really does go a long way. Um, I suppose the second piece of advice, which I think is equally important, um, is to facilitate these opportunities for other people. 
which I think is it personally is really important. So, I mean, myself, I'm a I'm a white straight male. I consider myself to be in quite a privileged position because of this. You know, where I'm, I feel confident enough to to reach for opportunities when they come around and don't you know experience or don't knowingly experience discrimination in the same way that that others might. So, you know, I think being aware that a lot of other people don't have this luxury and. And I think that's why it's so important that that people also then share those opportunities to kind of facilitate uptake in, you know, by those in marginalised groups, and to ensure that, you know, opportunities aren't constrained to to people, you know, like myself. Um, so this is something which I've been I've been really eager to do as part of my uh, Mott McDonald Global ECP role, um, you know, through various various events and talks, and trying to trying to increase that kind of. Um, exposure of, of other people but also something which i think is is something that I, I really want to push you know again both internally but also externally through through siwem um activities as well